Hi everyone and welcome back to Krinks TV where it's Halloween every single day. Except when it's not! That was, that was Chrism coming in for that by the way, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed. Uh, today we are playing Wreck Paroxysm. Not to be confused with the Wreck movies by the way, it's nothing to do with them I believe. Although I think it's gonna be like POV camera shit. Um, but yeah, short little horror game here, I don't think it's too long, probably like 30-40 minutes. Let's jump in. Hello, Mr. Blurred Face Man. Hi guys, it's Minx here. Want to say thank you so much for being Super Nomkins and supporting these daily uploads. Please remember to like and comment. It's crucial for getting more eyes on the videos. I'm really hoping this will eventually get more eyes on the channel if I stick to a good routine. Thanks for listening. Want to shout out, of course, our producer Alice from over on Patreon for making this all possible. Thank you so much, Alice, for the wonderful, fantastic, and amazing support. You really are a generous, super awesome Nomkin. The time I'm recording this, we still need one more sub. Just one more sub on our Patreon by the end of the month. Maybe we've got it by now, I don't know. But if you can, spare us a single sub. Even if it's a dollar, that counts towards the goal. Go throw it over now. Let's make that goal a reality. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being Nom. And um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, cool. That was a little intro. I guess that's us. We are an enigma. Just like me, we are in a living enigma. A living, walking nightmare chat. Okay, so yeah, it is like a, a POV camera thing. The problem with these is they usually make me feel violently ill. Go to the apartment at the end of the street and enter flat number 10. Oh, apparently we know where we're going, so let's fucking roll. We only have a 4x3 camera here to make YouTube videos. Let me just check this. Is, the resolution isn't 4x3, by the way, as you can see. Uh, I'm going to have to lock the FPS, by the way, otherwise it will cause my uh, computer to explode. Um, it has a colorblind mode, which is interesting. Like, I don't expect that kind of thing, I'm going to be honest with you. Holy shit, it's got things you can turn off as well. Unfortunately, no head bob off, but you, it has default motion blur off. Props. That's like a fucking amazing thing. Every game should default to having it off. That sounded provocative, but you know what I mean. Every game should have head bob on or off. Okay, which obviously is a problem here, but, you know, what it, it is what it is, right? Um, flashing lights on or off. And, um, motion blur on or off. And they should all... They should all default to off. As we all know, chat. As we all fucking know. I say chat, I, I'm not streaming this. Ooh, that door, uh, got a little bit frisky there. Loaded in. Oh. Can we go in now? Okay, there we go. Enter flat number 10. I think I've seen this apartment complex a few times. Oh god. I was like trying to find a torch button, but I guess I don't need it. If the lights are going to turn on of their own accord as we go up. Alright, that's number six. Nine. Seven. Okay, it's going to be the next floor up. I guess there's some urban legend based around this. Okay, well, flat number 10 is locked, which is a bit of a bugger, I'm going to be honest. You let us in? Hello? I don't have an inventory system. So I'm a little unsure of what I'm meant to be doing, I'm going to be honest with you, if I don't have the key to the place I'm going. So in the controls it says flashlight is F. That isn't true. 
That's just, in, I guess we don't have one at the moment, maybe. Uh, I was able to turn head bobbing off, though. So that's good. But yeah, no flashlight. Which, again, massive problem, because I can't see anything. And I suspect there's probably a mat down here. But it's too dark for me to see, period. Which is a huge problem. Oh, why is it much brighter up here? Um, oh my god! Why is the key on the wrong floor? Okay. Alright. That's dumb. If this is the key for apartment 10, I'm gonna fucking flip my shit. Why would the key for a 10 be on the other floor? Oh my god. It doesn't make any sense! No electricity. Oh, fuck. Okay, there's got to be some kind of puzzle relating to power here, right? Probably? I, I genuinely don't know. Hang on. Did that fix it? Hey! It wasn't really a puzzle. Okay. We found apartment 10, guys. And I turned off head bob. Isn't that fucking great? I don't know why head bob was under controls instead of just settings, but whatever. I, I will accept this. I will accept this outcome. But yeah, this really has nothing to do with the Wreck movies. Which are really good movies, by the way, if you haven't seen them. I recommend the originals rather than the American remakes. Place your bag in the living room and take your items. What are we doing? Place my bag in the living room. Okay. And take my items. I guess we're setting up for vlog making. Place the motion sensor in front of the main entrance. Okay. All right. What's next? We're going full phasmo here. Use the EMF reader to detect a level five anomaly. Yeah, this is just like phasmo. Are you a level five anomaly Russian doll that's in every one of these games? Are you a level five anomaly monkey that's in one every one of these games? You know it'll be good, right? Oh, this is the kitchen. This is the same sort of shitty Russian apartment asset you get like in every one of these fucking things. This is the toilet, but I can't see anything in here. There we go. Alright, that is a very small toilet, holy shit. I'd be scared to shit in there, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'd worry that like, I'd consume the entire room. Oh, what is this? There we go. There's our summoning ritual room. Okay. What now? Okay, thank fuck. We can put this thing away. I was all gonna have like 10 minutes there with this fucking thing. Alright, what the fuck is this? It's like a hot water bottle. I don't think it is. It is a container for salt, which is basically me, if I think about it. Okay. Well, what next? Chalk. This is gonna go really well. I've never seen a scenario like this unfold badly. Oh, they're candles in a chalk. Sorry, my uh, identification of paranormal paraphernalia is not working too well. We got a book for some reading. Holy Bibble. O creator of the heavens and the earth, Lord of the sacred beings and all spirits. I don't think this is a Bible. Your holy name in this ritual. You established the balance between light and darkness, keeper of the secrets of life and death. We honor you. We gather you to reach your divine light. Purify our souls and open our hearts so that we may hear your holy words. Let the gates of the heavens open. 
isn't quite what I expected to happen, I'm going to be honest with you, but uh, we'll take it. At least we're not in the shit apartment anymore. We might be in literal hell, judging by this shit, but, you know, excellent. Cursed. Oh, hi! Oh, Jesus. Well, this is going well. Oh, we're back here. Shit. I'd rather... At least it was warm there, you know? I don't really know what I'm meant to be doing now. Did something get written in the book? Like, fuck off or something? Can't pick up my bag? I think this has gone really well, you know. I'm not an expert in- oh, well, hello! Okay, that's actually quite creepy. I liked that a lot. What happened to us having objectives, game? I liked those. It set you apart from the usual shit. Oh god. What the fuck is gonna happen now? Someone's coming up the stairs. I don't like that. Was it the babushka we saw outside? Maybe we could just leave. I feel like that's a sensible idea at this point in time. Oh. Thank fuck. Some clear kind of direction. It's gonna be like, you're gonna die, or some shit like that, you know, but at least it's something. What the fuck is the phone? Why is it in a closet? Hello? It was actually kind of worse than saying you'll die. Oh shit. Something just set off the motion detector. I'm gonna sneeze. I really hope it doesn't hear my mic. Ah. I'm not sure what the strat is here. Do we just stay here shitting ourselves in an enclosed space for five minutes? Or do we have to edge out the room, do you think? Like, there's definitely something bad in there. The sound loops, I don't like that. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Don't know if we should be leaving, but I'm leaving. That's what I would do anyway. It's probably not gonna let me leave. If 
Fucking great. Just fucking wonderful. Just fucking wonderful. So what am I supposed to be fucking doing? Other than shitting myself. Wow. Okay. This 17 second sound loop is driving me nuts. Oh, it threw the plate, I guess. Scary. <laughs> that was a knife. That was a knife. Oh dear. We seem to be in trouble here, guys. I've seen the granny asset quite a few times at this point. They have very sticky hands. Oh shit. What am I supposed to be doing then? I just chuck myself off the balcony. I feel like that's like the best way out at the moment. It's not too high up, right? Fuck you. Probably gonna die in a minute, that's okay. I'm gonna be honest with you, I can't see shit right now. Oh, it's a radio. Okay, stop it. Stop it. Stop it! Stop it. Am I looking for a key? Is that what my objective is? I don't really know. Oh. Toilet plus death equals key. Excellent. What does that mean? Do I have to put a skull in the toilet? Do we have a skull somewhere? Have you guys seen a skull? Just knocking. A... Stop it! Stop it now! All right, I've got to find a skull and shove it in the loo, right? If I was a skull. Where would I hide out? To be honest with you, I have no fucking idea where the skull is. Does this count as a skull? It's like a scary lollipop. Shit. Shit, where the fuck is this fucking skull? Hi, do you have a skull? I really need a skull. Do you have one? Because I, I need to put one in the toilet. No? Okay. Well, I appreciate your honesty. You know, about not having a skull. That is a clock, not a skull. As far as I can tell, none of these have skulls in either. It's very dark, so it's a bit hard to gauge, but... Fridge! That's a good place to put a skull. Absolutely fucking nothing.
Okay. Oh, hang on. There's a skull in the toilet. Now. Oh. That wasn't there a minute ago. Does it unlock this? It does. I thought so. This had a keyhole, so that's why I was like... Oh, a flashlight! Something's trying to get through the door, right? Yeah, it is. Oh, this is... This is a room now. Oh, shit. There's a room back here. We are so fucking dead, guys. We are so fucking dead. Right, the power's out. Great. Oh, for fuck's sake. Now I have to answer the fucking phone again as well. Oh, rosary. That'll not help whatsoever. Alright, that's locked. I'm not, like, a religious person at all, as you probably know, guys. But, right... If I'd seen this shit happening, I might be inclined to be like, all right, okay, I'll pick up a rosary. It's something to do, you know. The phone didn't ring for very long, did it? Just fucking, just fucking with me. Just fucking with me. All right, so we need like a crowbar, another key perhaps. Now, nah, okay, so the lights are just perma fuck now, which makes sense. I mean, the ghost has got to cut the power at some point. Is what it does. Can you stop doing that, please? I'm coming. I'm coming. Jesus Christ. Hello. What is it this time? I honestly don't care about your problems, alright? I just don't give a shit. Oh, hi. Boo. I got the trophy boo. Amazing. Oh, this is new. Right? At least I think- Oh! 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 Progress! Holy shit! I did not expect them to give that away. The monkey moved. Excellent. Is there genuinely nothing in this fucking room, by the way, after all this? This is like the curse room! This is where the fucking ghost was standing. Doing ghost shit. And there's nothing in here except a metronome, some pills, and a monkey. Which is quite an unusual eclectic mix of things, I'll give it that. But, and a projector, I suppose. But still. Do you have the key? Do you have the key? Do you have the fucking key? No? Great. Brilliant. Wonderful. Fantastic. I do like the fact the ghost ran away. It was like, yeah, fuck this. Fuck this noise. Is the key, is the phone gonna ring if I come over here again? Probably. This isn't even interactable anymore, by the way. The thing that said it was locked, not interactable. <gasps> A duck! You're responsible for this. Oh, I never went out on this balcony. Wasn't worth it doing anything, but you know. It's always nice. Genuinely no idea what to do next, except run around the house randomly until something scary happens. Which I feel like a lot of the stuff on this seems to be on a, on a timer, I was going to say. That's a nasty case of asthma. Locked itself in the toilet to take a fucking massive shit in... Not my toilet, but still, it's the principle of the thing. It didn't ask me permission. Oi! Oi! Stop being an asshole. Oh, there was something there and I looked away for a second. Go away. And there's... I can't actually tell what that is. A hand? Yeah, a, a severed hand. Excellent. You right there? Still having fun in there, Skull? Scully? Uh, something dead in here, maybe? I don't fucking know. Are you fucking kidding me? That was such an obnoxious jump scare. Oh my god, where the fuck am I now? What is all this shit? Oh god, this actually might be dangerous. We might be in trouble. I think we might be being chased. Yeah, we are. Excellent. I 
think I made it. I can't tell because the room's pitch black. <laughs> oh, hi. We got a key. Excellent, thank you. Oh god, that was scripted. Okay, so there was an actual existential threat there, as opposed to just being a walking simulator. Oh wow. All right, the key is not for that. What is the key for? This, right? Yes. We have a sledgehammer. And a note. You are not alone in this house. No shit. The woman you're looking for her, aren't you? If you want to find her, listen carefully. Didn't you hear her screams? They echo behind the walls. Her blood still decorates the walls. I placed her there with my own hands right before your eyes where we hide all our secrets. Keep hiding, but remember, every wall has a secret. There's a wall that looks really sussy in the ghost room over here. Yeah, this one. The one that was highlighted. There she is. Having the time of her death. Raker of walls. I'm really sorry you're dead, lady, but... Can I get this note? I can't crouch. I, I could crouch before, but I can't anymore, which is starting to annoy me. Oh, now I can. Now I can. I guess the cutscene's finished. If this note falls into someone's hands, let them know that they have not freed the woman's spirit. Instead, they cursed her soul upon themselves. Now her nightmare will be your reality. There is no escape. Excellent. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. The front door's open. We can just leave. See? A nice stroll through Russian suburbia coming our way. What could go wrong? Hi. Well, let's get cursed. Give me an old fashioned cursing. Ah, oh, she's got. I blinked and she's gone. Excellent. Well, that's dealt with that problem then. My stammer's out. I'm knackered. I'm knackered! Oh, she's over there again. Ultimately, we're just being pursued by a horny babushka, and that's okay. By the way, I don't know if the dev of this is Russian. They might not well- they might well not be, but it's the Russian apartment complex asset that gets me. You know what I mean? I've no idea. Oh, I think we beat the game, maybe. At the end of this dark adventure, I've come to understand what true fear is. The path I took to explore haunted places and cap capture supernatural events on camera has come at a heavy price. The terrifying woman's house, the horror of the corpse trapped within the walls, all of it is etched into my mind. As I fled the apartment with the key in my hand, I knew the nightmare I left behind was just beginning. Did I really escape, or will this horror follow me forever? The question echoes in the depths of my mind, giving me no peace. I'm on the brink of losing my sanity. There is no escape from this darkness. I see only one way out. Perhaps this is the only way to end the terror I've lived through. I hope you steer clear of the dark pit I've fallen to. Every adventure comes at a price, and I can no longer pay it. Guess he's going to off himself. Sorry, unalive himself. Got to do that for YouTube. I'm joking, by the way. I'm never going to get into the trend of saying that. I refuse, chat. Oh, look, she's vibrating next to me. Alright. This was okay. Like, there's there's a lot of times in this where you have to wander around until something happens, which is a mechanic I really don't like in horror games. Like, you walk past the same spot 50 times, and then eventually you get... You know what I mean? Um, you get something trigger. But other than that, it's fine. It's inoffensively average. Um, 
It's a 5 out of 10 horror game. There was a cool scare here and there, and I got the gist of what was going on. It, I wasn't confused out of my brain. Um, it's an okay, mediocre horror game, and that's all it really needs to be. Um, I'll read you from the store page because I forgot to do that at the start, guys. This is very important. I need to keep remembering to do this. Uh, you're a horror content creator venturing into frightening locations to captivate your audience. You're attempting to attract more viewers by recording paranormal events. However, these horror-filled adventures will one day come back to haunt you at a high cost. Indeed. Um, what has this person made? I have never played the other game by this person, by the way, which has very positive reviews, which bothers me. Uh, this game cost £2.79. Probably not too bad at asking price, actually, uh, all things considered. Um, it's all right. It's okay. That was Wreck Paroxysm, and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, consider pledging to our Patreon. Very close to the end of the month. I don't know how many subs we're going to need at the point this video comes out, but it'll be maybe even just one. We're so close. So if you can throw us a buck on Patreon and make our dreams come true, consider doing so. Link in the description. Thanks for listening. I'll see you later.